As most of you know, over the last three weeks, the Tucson Police Department has been investigating the suspicious death of 13-year-old Jaden Glome. Um, we understand that the both the Tucson community and the Vail community uh, has been asking us numerous questions about exactly what happened and what took place uh, since day one of this investigation. Uh, we want to start by saying thank you to those communities for having patience with us and letting our detectives uh, conduct their investigation slowly and methodically and making sure that they're looking at everything possibly out there. Um, what I can tell you today is that this investigation has changed gears. We have shifted gears from a suspicious death investigation uh, to now a homicide investigation. Uh, yesterday afternoon, detectives with our homicide unit uh, in conjunction with the medical examiner's office, uh, they've been working together. Uh, they were able to determine that this was a homicide and that the cause of death was from asphyxiation. Um, right now, we are still trying to determine a few more facts of the case about exactly what happened. Uh, but another thing I can tell you is that this afternoon, the homicide detectives with the Tucson Police Department uh, did make an arrest in the case. Uh, they have arrested 37-year-old Joshua Lelevere. Uh, he's been arrested for one count of first-degree murder and one count of abandoning, abandoning or concealing a dead body. Uh, Mr. Levelier is the stepfather of Jaden Glome, and she was living with her mother and stepfather at the time of this, at the time this incident occurred. Um, I can tell, although there was probable cause for an arrest, uh, this investigation is far from being over. Uh, so a lot of questions you may have uh, may be tough for us to answer because there's, there's still some things that we need to find out. So uh, we don't want to ruin the investigation or other parts, uh, but detectives did have enough uh, probable cause to make an arrest today. It's L E L E V I E R. So, what were the uh, what were the circumstances? Why was, why did he call it? Why why did this happen? Well, those are things that detectives have not even released to to us as well, even in the PI office. So, uh, those those certain uh, details will come out here soon, and we should be able to release more information as this investigation continues. Uh, but today, all I'm able to tell you right now is an arrest was made uh, based on probable cause that they had for the stepfather. And what were the what was, the, what was the, I mean, probable cause, but what led them to the... Uh... Those are the parts that they, there's still other information that they believe is out there. We don't want to ruin that part of the investigation. We don't want somebody to come forward with information that they heard on television or that they saw in the paper. Uh, we want, if somebody else knows anything, we want them to come forward with information that they actually know. Uh, so some of those details are going to be limited, like I said earlier. We were told from the onset of this investigation mm -hmm. that the parents were both very cooperative with TPD. They were. The parents have been cooperative from what I understand, uh, and detectives look at every kind of piece of information possible. Uh, you know, when we first start these investigations, uh, we look at everybody and everything as, as a possible manner or, or somebody who's possibly involved. So they've been investigating this uh, since day one, and they have not stopped. So they've been working hard on this investigation. Where was she killed? Uh, I, that's another thing. It, she was. I can tell you, she was not killed in the location she was found. Do you guys know how long she had been there? Um, it, she was there a very short amount of time. So it was when we got there, we could tell they were able to determine that she had been there uh, a very short amount of time, less than 24 hours, probably. Do you will there be other arrests? I don't know that. You said uh, the parents cooperated with the stepfather too. I'm sorry. Did the stepfather cooperate with you guys too? Yeah, we've been speaking with, and I know we got a lot of questions because we were seen out at the at the house numerous times asking about search warrants, and we we weren't doing that, but we were speaking with the parents, getting information, giving information. Uh, we did serve a search warrant out there today, uh, but yeah, as far as I know, they everyone was was cooperative with us. Did the search warrant today lead to this arrest, or? No, we had already uh, actually arrested the stepfather at the same time as we were doing the search warrant. That was I'm sorry? That was today? Uh, he was brought in this afternoon. I, I don't know the exact time. Was he arrested at the house? Uh, no, here at the main police station. But in, so did he turn himself in? Uh, we were speaking with him here and made the arrest here. Okay, so he came down to talk to you guys? Yeah, I don't know the details of, of how he got down here. First degree murder, you said? We will be able to get you a booking photo, but he is currently being booked probably as of maybe 10 minutes ago or so. So first degree murder, then First degree murder and then abandoning or concealing uh, of a dead body. And so she was living, you said, with her stepfather? Stepfather and mother, yes. And was her dad? Do you know anything about the father? Had he been cooperating with 
he has been, and both the mother and biological father do know of, of the arrest and, and where the investigation is going for, from this point forward. We have talked to both of them today as well. Good. No, I, we're gonna, there's going to be more information that's going to come out. But as far as right now with this initial arrest right now, we just want to give you something. We do know that the communities were worried if they should, or were asking if they should be worried uh, if there was somebody on the loose that did this, a stranger, uh, and, and it appears that that, that was not the case because uh, we obviously made the arrest of the stepfather. So we did want the community to know that. What is the stepfather? Where does he work? Where does he, where, where does he live? I, I don't know where he works. Uh, he lives with, with the mother um, out in the same area of where she was located. So can, can you say his DNA was found on her body? Yeah, that part we, we won't get into right now. That'll come out later. He said yeah. Yes, correct. Is that it? And you're Good. not looking at other suspects? I don't know if they are or not. I'm not sure right now. Don't know. It doesn't, I'll tell you, it doesn't appear that there's any other suspects at this time, but uh, I can't rule that out. Does the stepfather have any kind of criminal record background? Right? I, I really don't know that. Do you know if he has any children? I don't know that either. We can find out for you, but I don't know. It's my understanding that the, that the uh, wife and the mother is ready to deliver any minute now? Is that true? I, that I don't know. I wouldn't give out her medical information even if I knew it. I don't know that. Anything else that you can tell us that you don't want to, but you will? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Um, no, I, it, like I said before, I do believe that we're going to have some more information that's going to be available to you here soon. But as far as it goes right now at this time, standing here, that's that's really all I have for you. You said soon. Is that going to be tonight, today? Or? I don't know. That's when detectives are available to give that out. Do you know if he's made an initial court appearance yet? Well, he just got booked. Okay, so so it, it would most likely be tonight. Tonight. Okay. okay.